Hey guys, Dan Valamont here with Fanatic Wrestling. Today we are just outside Ann Arbor, Michigan, joined by Alec Pantaleo, former wrestler at the University of Michigan, one of my rivalries when I was at Penn State. And um, today we just finished up filming a great video where we were going over a ton of the offense that has made Alec uh, successful as an athlete. Uh, while he was at Michigan, three-time All-American, currently training with the Cliff Keen Wrestling Club right here in Ann Arbor. And uh, we're just gonna get a little bit of a preview of what to expect from this video um, that we just got done filming here. So, Alec? Right, so the idea of my video we did today was unstoppable offense, right? And what a level of that comes from is being savvy being able to score when a guy has control of your wrists, right? No problem. I get that, you know, wrist exchanges are great, but sometimes he has a really strong grip, just can't get rid of that, all right? I'm still gonna use it to my advantage. How do I do that, all right? I'm looking for a low single shot. What do I do is I push in. He's not gonna like that, he's gonna push back, right? I'm gonna give him a pull. That gets him stepping. That's great for me, because I'm gonna attack that leg, right? So I push in, I pull. I'm pushing, I'm pulling. He's heavy on that leg. Right there. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this hand, it's gonna be a Y. I'm going right at the joint of his wrist. I'm gonna trap that wrist, I'm taking it straight down. My head is going right to the lever leverage point. This hand is going around his, his uh, heel. Dragging it down. I'm holding it on his wrist. Then I'm gonna climb up, get my two points. All right? You can also do it from here. You pull it on his head. He doesn't like he takes it off, no problem. Switch off. Right? Or again, he's holding it really tight. You're trying to pull it away. He steps to you. Boom. Driving forward. Getting you two points. Uh, so, I mean, this is really great stuff, guys. Really subtle, uh, very quick on this wrist exchange here. He's doing a really good job of straightening out. I mean, he's knocking my wrist off. He's not just grabbing it and holding it. He's actually shooting his arm across and punching it away and then holding on to it. I heard Alec mention it. But he's keeping that wrist as he finishes here, and it really gets me in an uncomfortable position. And it might look like I'm just falling over for no reason, but he's straightening out my arm and he's locking out my leg. It's a really hard position for me to stay up in here as he's trying to finish. Um, one question here though, what if the guy's grabbing your wrist the opposite way? Are you changing anything here? Right, so let's talk about wrist exchanges here. This right here is a hard, this is hard to roll your wrist, right? When a guy grabs you regularly here, you can roll his wrist, right? So many coaches teach you, oh, grab it this way. Now, now he can't roll it. It doesn't matter with this move though, all right? I, he still feels secure and he's still gonna be, I just said use it to pull. So as he, I pull it and he steps, going down and across, all right? But the key thing is here, this head's gonna be in his lever, leverage point of his kneecap and this hand is trapped and I'm pulling it down. All one motion, not one, two, it's one motion going down. So again, he grabs it on the outside, no problem. You get a pull, down, down. Drive, 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 get my two points. And guys, one last thing here too. When you're drilling this, you wanna make sure you're being a good partner. In a real match, if I have wrist control, I feel safe here. I'm gonna be holding on to this tight. And that's why it works. When Alec goes to pull me, I'm, pull, I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm not gonna just let go, go ahead and pull. I'm not gonna just let go of that wrist, all right? In a real match, I'm gonna control that wrist. This is my tie. I feel comfortable here. So him pulling on me here, I feel fine because I have that wrist. And that's what actually ends up making me fall into this trap where he's pulling me there and then clearing that wrist and going into that low side. Right. Dan, can I add one more point here? If I grab his wrist, he doesn't feel so so secure enough. He knows I might be attacking, right? He might start getting his hips back a little bit more, right? But if he grabs my wrist, he feels all right. He should be the one attacking me, not, not the piece of this move, all right? So thinking the guy feels secure and that's when you're striking. Great stuff, Alec. Guys, if you like this, stay on the lookout for his video. If it's not out yet, um, it should be coming out soon. A ton of great offense from here. Again, a lot of stuff that has made him extremely successful. Make sure you're following his career on the international scene. Also, stay on the lookout for some other videos from the other Cliff Keen wrestlers out here on this trip. We're filming a bunch of them. So a lot of great content coming from Ann Arbor um, to the store very soon. Finally, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, join the Facebook group, uh, like the Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, all the social media stuff. Check out our store, tons of great products in there. Also BJJFanatics.com, um, all of our brother and sister websites. Um, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.